Yeah. And uh, should be seeing the admin content page coming through. Yeah, that's all good, Lee. Yeah, no worries. So this is just a Umami install. And what I've done is I've gone into the basic HTML format and I've turned off limit allowed HTML tags. Um, so we're sort of simulating that you've inherited a site or you've migrated some content into a site or you've um, you know, inadvertently had a filter turned off, something like that. Um, and you've come in and realized that you need to turn this on, but you're not sure what you're going to break because you know, content editors may have been creating a lot of content and you don't want to break it. Or you, know, you may have migrated content from an external, um, external site and the content that's in those fields might not be compatible with the filter format. So I've gone through and I've edited quite a lot of this content and I've put in things that ordinarily wouldn't allow. And so I'm just going to turn the, the HTML filter back on and I'm going to put in the configuration. Oops, that's not good. I'm going to put in the configuration that comes from um, Demo Umami normally. So it's fairly restrictive. Um, a lot of things that it doesn't allow. So yeah, turned it back on. Now, if I head back to the content page, there's a tab up here, filter format analysis and I can just run that. And what that'll do is it goes off and has a look at every uh, text field that has a format applied to it in all entities. So in paragraphs, in block content, in nodes, in layout builder, and it will come back and report to you if it's finding things that it will strip out. So it, it ran pretty quick there because it's only 29 items, but we have run this on DCS site. I think there was 30,000, and took about uh, 25 minutes or so to run. Uh, and yeah, so what it does is it looks at every field and the values of each of those fields and runs the filter over it and then and analyzes what will be stripped out. So you can see, for example, this Umami disclaimer, there's a um, strong tag that has a class on it and class isn't allowed on strong tags. Uh, this item itself has an iframe on it, in it in an I tag. And then for each of those, you can edit the content and you know take that out. Um, you can click on it to view it so you know what, which, where this might be. Um, and yeah, so there's two summaries as well. There's a tag summary. So this is telling you common tags. So for here, you know, there's three places for using sub. There's a B and there's an I, for example. Um, I think when we ran this over DCS, there was, there was some of these written in the thousand count and uh, attribute summary as well. So this is telling us, you know, the attributes that we might be missing. And again, uh, after running this over DCS, we found a lot of things that we could just, uh, you know, we're obviously missing from the format when we when we turned it on, and it, yeah, basically gives you a a good snapshot of what's going to break when when you turn that on. That's basically it in a nutshell. Um, there's a lot of code under the hood to power that, um, particularly around working out the hierarchy because uh, if you've got content in a layout builder, for example, in an inline block. You know, you can't just link to edit the inline block. You have to edit the layout builder page itself. Uh, if you've got content in a paragraph, it's got to go to the, the node that it's part of. If you've got content in a paragraph that's in a block content in layout builder that's part of a node, you know, you've got to edit in the node. So it's got a whole sort of system under the hood to work out the parents and resolve that so that you can edit it. Um,